get uh it's weird the lighting is weird now that it's this wall is black hello there sarah wake up here of parents who i am well aware that it is echoey in here thusly we are redesigning this room to make it more friendly and to actually be able to use it for like puzzles and dinners and stuff today we're gonna buy a new piece of furniture Black, and if you haven't heard already, the news that's fit to print is we're keeping this rug. The colored rug was too much. We're also keeping this dog. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to figure out how much space we have for this piece of furniture. We can't just start going into stores and getting frustrated because we don't know the measurements that we need. So we're gonna measure the space, and this is what we're trying to measure here. What we need to know is we need to know with the chair pulled back from the table as if somebody is actually sitting in it, which I guess they wouldn't sit that far back, but maybe I'll just sit in it and see. Okay, I'd be about, yeah, I'd be about here. Okay, figure out how much space we have between the chair and the wall so that you can still walk past. If you wanted to, you know, serve a drink, serve some lunch you would have room to do it. So let's check. Between here, the chair, and where I could comfortably walk by, which I'm just kind of walking like this. That's a, that's a really weird angle. Hold on. I'm gonna crap, I'm gonna, no, that doesn't work either. Okay, I'm walking by like a normal person would. Although, I'm gonna do it with a martini glass because why not? Okay, so you're walking through. You need to measure how much space between here and here, and put your martini glass down. How much space you have between the wall and the side of your hip. And in this case, it looks like about, about 16, about 16 inches. Make sure that you put that measurement in your Evernote note that you should have already started on your phone or in your pocket, a piece of paper, a sticky note, or where you can find it. So when you're out shopping and you see the perfect piece, when you're out shopping and you see the perfect piece of furniture, you know exactly what perfect is. In this case, it's about 16 inches. Okay. I love Evernote because it gives you tags. It gives you, you can put pictures in here, voice memos in here. You can draw stuff in here. If you haven't already seen the drawing in my dining room, let's see that the buffet, I'm gonna call it the buffet, sometimes it's called a console table, could be called an end table, you may even wanna have a dresser here, whatever you wanna call it. Buffet, should be, oh, I should check the floor, hold on. Wanna make sure that it's not gonna cover the carpet, I mean, it, it, it shouldn't, because we already measured the carpet to make sure that we could go around, okay. But you wanna make sure, so I'm gonna make sure that 16, we need to make sure that 16, so 16 is right here. And the carpet's right here. So, oh, that's a weird angle. So this piece of furniture will definitely not sit on the carpet. I don't want it to sit on the carpet. So, I, but I just wanted to triple check and make sure that it, that it wouldn't before I bought it. Okay, measurement. Whoa. The next measurement that you're gonna want is the height. And in this case, I'm just gonna kind of guess. Um, let's see. This is the most I've moved a camera in a video. But I need, I need another table back there that I can put the camera on. Okay, now that I have my camera very precariously balanced on my child's play kitchen, let me show you what I'm talking about. The table ends here. By the way, if anybody is looking for an early Mother's Day gift or a super early Christmas gift for me, I need a wide angle lens. I'm guesstimating based on my taste how high I want this thing to be. I know I want it to be higher than the table. It has to be higher than the table or else it kind of gets lost. It looks kind of, I don't know, I think it looks kind of funny. Three inches tall. So I'm just going to have to visualize. Looks like I would want something that's about, I would say about 40, 40, but in the like, it's like 40 to 46 range. I think between 40 and 47 is going to be about right. My laptop here. And the very first place I like to look when I'm buying a lot of furniture 
or any furniture is Craigslist. I like Craigslist because I like to recycle or upcycle, not create more trash and garbage. Number two, obviously the price. The price is usually great. And number three, sometimes you can find small businesses that are in the area that you can support. And I'd always rather do that before giving to a large business. So I'm gonna go look on Craigslist. I'll give you a look here. You okay? I was just gonna say, uh, I was just gonna say, I've never really filmed my computer before. So this was gonna be a new experience, but it turns out this may not even be an experience because it's running some kind of update. Oh, it totally just turned off. I wanna search a lot of different words when you're looking. You can look for a buffet, you can look for console table, dresser. Um, what's the other thing people call it? This one would be awesome uh, to paint, but I'm not gonna take the time on this project to paint. I've already painted a wall, so I'm gonna allow myself the luxury of buying something already painted. That one would be pretty with different poles. Ooh, I like this. I wish it was go <gasps> gold. Found it. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. Okay, first of all, I love this because it's from, it looks like a local shop, uh, the dresser, the dresser shop. Com. It looks like that um, they have redone this themselves, so I like that local business. I like the size of it. Let's see what the dimensions are. Oh, ooh, look at that. I like this one. I like this a lot. And with 19 depth, 32 height. It's a depth 19. I know I said I needed 16. 19 would be right there. So I'm gonna bring this down to the floor. Hello, do to do. Steering a martini straight to you. Hey, it works. It works. Do to do to do. It's a little bit, a tiny bit tight. Let me make sure that this is where I'd be sitting. I mean, if we're all sitting at the table, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, 71 width. That's the last dimension we have to check. Where did I? Left it on the floor. Okay, this I don't want. Obviously the piece of furniture to be longer than the carpet. Preferably even not longer than the table because I think that just kind of looks weird. I actually think this is gonna work. I actually think this is gonna work. I'm so excited. I actually need a chest of drawers for my sons upstairs in their bedroom. So I might see if they have another one and ask them if I buy two, if they'll give me a discount. So let's see. Else, where do I? Chris right now would say that I have lost sight <laughs> of the project at hand, which is to buy something for this wall. But I disagree because thriftiness is very important to our family. And so if I can buy two pieces of furniture from these guys and then get my kids some drawers that work because the ones they have right now, it's, it, this drawer doesn't even pull out anymore. Then this drawer doesn't pull out anymore. And then I would be super excited because I would be killing two birds with one stone. Okay, no dresser for the boys, but I am gonna call about this credenza for this room. Normally I would not act this fast, but I'm trying this new thing where I try not to overthink everything because I have a really bad time of trying to make everything perfect. And so I'm trying to remember that done is better than perfect. And so with that, I am going to call the dress shop and ask them if they will bring me this beautiful credenza. Looking at one of your items online and I've actually, uh, I was wondering if you still had it. Yeah. Uh, let me check one second. Okay. Do you see, the, is it with the gold pools? Yes. No, unfortunately that one um, just sold. Uh, we have several that are similar. That's your cell number, I can text you pictures of what we have. Yeah, that would work. Okay, and I'll text you some unfinished ones also that you may like, and just say yes or no, and uh, go from there. Okay, sounds great. All right, thank Thanks. you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank okay. You. okay, so they don't have that exact one, but I really like this shop. They're very friendly, and she's supposed to be texting me some pictures of some other options. So we'll see what gets sent and go from there. Other places that I would check next if I don't like the pictures that are sent would be Target. And then I would go to either Joe's in Maine, I don't know how you say it, but I'll, I'll link it below, and Wayfair. 
They are both online only though, so the trouble with that is sometimes you get a color or um, even a length. The rug that I bought from, from Home Depot was not the length that it said that it was online. So you have to trust or be assertive enough to be able to send it back and um, make sure that they do right by you. Or so yeah, it's just kind of rolling the dice. Home goods is kind of hit and miss. It depends on what they have in stock, but I'll go ahead and see what, what they have. I'm running just a little bit early to pick up. So while I am child free, I'm gonna go check run and run out real fast they usually don't have furniture that's quite this big this is a big piece i'm looking for so i'm not super um expecting to find anything but while we're waiting for the dresser shop to text back let's go take a look